Palermo is one of Italy's most diverse and fascinating cities, and a remarkable place to travel to. Located at the heart of the Mediterranean, the capital of Sicily has been at the crossroads of civilizations for millennia. It is influenced by cultures and traditions from the Middle East, Africa and Europe. Famous for its history, architecture and food, Palermo evokes the imagination of many travelers. It has a distinct, almost mysterious character. Arriving in Palermo can feel overwhelming, especially if you start your journey in the narrow alleys of the historic center. This is the beating heart of Palermo, with lively street scenes and markets that provide a great introduction to the city's vibrant atmosphere. Here, local Palermitani do their grocery shopping, catch up with friends and family, or simply go for a stroll. And I can only suggest joining them. Food lovers will find themselves in the right place too, as Palermo is gaining a reputation for its delicious street food, with mouth-watering dishes served fresh on the spot. Many traditional snacks go back centuries and form an integral part of Sicilian culinary culture. While some may raise an eyebrow, even for seasoned gastronomes, Others are easily enjoyed as lunchtime meal or afternoon snack. Some of the most famous dishes include the arancina, fried balls of rice that usually contain cheese or meat. And croce, mint flavored potato croquettes. Don't miss the Swincione, a fluffy Sicilian pizza made from thick dough that reminds of focaccia and the abundant choices of seafood. Santa! <laughs> 
For the more adventurous, there is the Panicha Musa. A sandwich stuffed with beef spleen. And boiled octopus, served with freshly squeezed lemon juice. Navigating Palermo can be a challenge, but in today's modern age there is a solution for everything. Meet Magic, your personal AI travel assistant and the sponsor of this video. Magic helps you create your own customized itinerary, find the best places to stay and eat, and answer all your travel related questions. Whether you are interested in culture, food, nature or other themes. Magic is there to assist. And good to know Magic is completely free and doesn't charge fees for booking hotels. In fact, with Magic's reward program Elixir, you can even find discounts on hotels that don't exist anywhere else. If all this sounds interesting then check out the link below and try Magic for yourself. Palermo's history dates back over 2,700 years, when it was founded by Phoenician traders. In the centuries that followed it came under the influence of Carthagian, Roman, Byzantine, Arab, Spanish and Norman rulers, among others, and eventually joined a unified Italy in 1861. The historic center, one of the largest in Europe, can feel like an open-air museum. With grand churches, baroque palaces and quiet monasteries waiting to be explored. At the very heart stands the city's cathedral, a massive structure that has been renovated and altered multiple times over the years, but remains a great example of Sicily's unique architectural style. Make sure to climb the rooftop to enjoy splendid views over the city skyline. Not far from here is the Norman Castle, which holds one of Palermo's most visited sites, the Cappella Palatina. The chapel contains spectacular mosaics, mocarnas and marble floors, mixing Byzantine, Arabic and Norman styles. When discovering Palermo you will keep coming back to the Quattro Canti, or Four Corners. At the intersection of two of Palermo's busiest pedestrian streets, the Quattro Canti's four symmetrical facades were built during Spanish rule. It's a popular area to socialize, with buzzing restaurants and cafes that stay open well into the evening. The neighborhood around the Quattro Canti is also full of intriguing monuments, including
including the Church of San Cataldo. The breathtaking Chesa del Gesù and the Fontana Pretoria, nicknamed as the Fountain of Shame. One of my favorite places here is the tranquil monastery of Santa Catarina d'Alessandria. Both a church and cloister, this complex is a world in itself and also houses a traditional bakery, serving one of Sicily's most celebrated desserts, the cannoli. For those who like street art and graffiti work, the area around Jarrafello Square provides ample opportunity to explore. While some streets feel somewhat rougher on the edges, many buildings are being restored breathing new life into this long-neglected neighborhood. One of the most impressive murals can be found near Palermo's Barina. This artwork is dedicated to Sicilian anti-mafia prosecutors Falcone and Borsolino, who were killed in 1992. To learn more about the city's struggle with the Mafia, travelers should visit the small but intriguing No Mafia Memorial. Our final stop in the city is Teatro Massimo, a must-see even if you're not into concerts and opera. This extravagant building is one of the largest opera houses in Europe and Italy's most prestigious. Guided tours take visitors through some of the lavish rooms with jaw-dropping decoration and surprising effects. That concludes our trip to Palermo, a complex and fascinating city that can be explored for weeks, if not months. I realize I have only scratched the surface, but still hope this video gave you some travel inspiration, or at least provided a glimpse into this captivating metropolis. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Travel safely.